What I have here is a free network forensic tool, Wireshark. And what you're looking at, these random characters, are the stream of data representing a phone call. And in a second, we're going to be able to decode this data and play the exact call to listen in to what people were saying on the network. So if you thought your calls couldn't be spied on, here's news for you. Now, you might be able to recognize that voice. That is, of course, President Trump. <laughs> and if the FBI is watching, no, I did not tap the White House phone calls. This is just a demonstration from one of his interviews. We just used the audio stream. But the point is, your voice can be spied on if attackers have access to the network. And this is something to think about now, especially when we have so many devices like Alexa, like your TV that have microphones that are always listening. If that data is going over the internet, it is possible to decode it if it's not encrypted. Now, in this case, we're using voice over IP, but of course there are a variety of methods by which attackers can spy on your phone calls. But for you hackers out there, I have more examples. Now, here we have another example. So if we go into telephony and we look at RTP, we can find RTP streams and the source and destination address. And if we want, we can go ahead and play this. And again, you're going to hear a conversation. Than, uh, Mars, man. How can I help you today? Hey, I'm trying to get that panda special. And here you can see two different streams of people speaking. But of course, that is not the only thing you can get from capturing network traffic. You can also get any files that are transmitted. So if you're uploading files, sharing files, that information, also if it's not encrypted and somebody captures the data on the network, can be found out. So let's do an HTTP search here. So this is the protocol. HTTP is the typical protocol you use to communicate on the internet. HTTPS would be the encrypted version with SSL. But if it's not encrypted, as you can see, we can look at the actual data. So here there's a zip file that has been shared. There's a request that was sent out, secrets.zip, and then we downloaded it. Now, from this packet capture, I can go ahead and download the exact same file. All I have to do is go into File, Export Objects, and HTTP. And as you can see, this object is now found, and I just have to save it. We'll go ahead, and now we have the secrets.zip in our Downloads folder. Now, if we open it, there is what we call a flag, but we can open it because it's password protected. And you'll see that when we try to extract it in 7-zip. Now, this is what I'm going to leave as a challenge for you guys. So I'm going to drop this particular file that you're just seeing that we just analyzed, this network capture file in a link in the description. And by analyzing it, by listening to the phone call that I just cut out, you will be able to find the password, the passwords in the phone call. And if you do find that out, you can go ahead and access the message in that image. So this is kind of like a challenge, a capture the flag, if you will, for those of you who are interested in hacking and you wanna learn about this. But if you aren't able to solve it, you can always come to our Discord and discuss it and figure out what the message was. But once again, if you want to learn and do this yourself, I'm going to give you access to the file to analyze, which you can open and analyze in Wireshark. So it's pretty simple. You just, once you've installed Wireshark, you have to open it and it's going to show you the captured network traffic. And then you go through the steps we just discussed. You analyze RTP, telephony, and you also have to look into the HTTP traffic to get the secrets.zip file. But hopefully that shows you how it's possible to inspect network traffic and get useful information from it if it's not encrypted. This is kind of like code breaking 101. You can even see what router was used here. So this was a, the destination was a net gear. But for those of you interested in hacking, this should be a really fun challenge. So I'm looking forward to you finding out the message and posting it in the comments. I'm sure many of you will do it instantly, but it should be fun. Let me know if you'd like to see more videos like this, more videos talking about hacking techniques and how how to break or decode messages on the internet. Hopefully this gives you an idea of how hacking works to some extent. Just remember any information that's transmitted digitally, if intercepted, 
can be seen by the attacker. The only way to prevent that is to actually encrypt the data so that even if they see it, they can't really understand it. But at some point, obviously, if you can receive the data, somebody else can also decode it to get the message just like you. Should also tell you why encryption is so important. I wanna give a shout out to Null404, a DEF CON community that worked with us to set up this challenge, which you can find if you break through that challenge. Now, you might also be wondering if my data is captured, where it might end up. And a place you don't want it to be is the dark web. But we can see what kind of data we can find on dark web if we look for captures. We search for PCAP, which is the file format for packet captures on the network. You can see there are posts about that and even reports of agents starting a PCAP listener. Now, this is what a potential network compromise looks like. If there's somebody listening in on your network, capturing the network, traffic, then they could potentially extract the kind of information that you just saw earlier in the video if it's not encrypted. But not just that, they could look at the websites you're visiting, or more importantly, any credentials or chat logs that are, again, not encrypted, just transmitted over the internet. Now, if you want to see what kind of data is there on you on the dark web specifically, you could do a search on Flare, which is the sponsor of this video. This is a fairly powerful search engine for the dark web. Just allows you to see what kind of footprint you have there, what hackers are talking about without, you know, having to go on the dark web yourself. They also help you manage your organization's profile. They can alert you if your data is leaked by ransomware, if your infected devices are traced or posted on the dark web. They can alert you of a compromise. So check them out using link in description. Check out the free trial. And do like and share this video if you enjoyed it. This is Leo. Thank Thank you so much for watching and as always stay informed stay secure